revelation. U.S. and NATO send junk weapons to Ukraine and save 35 billion. Ukraine was the world's third largest arms importer in 2022, behind Qatar and India. In the revelation that the U.S. and its NATO allies are sending obsolete weapon systems as part of their military aid to Ukraine, and that they are saving money on them to avoiding, by avoiding the cost of destroying them, the American thinker continues, according to columnist Roger Smith, since the start of the Russian special military operation in Ukraine, the U.S. and NATO are estimated to have sent around $46.6 billion worth of ammunition and military equipment. But they're obsolete weapons. Smith says, we are mainly talking about weapons that were manufactured several decades ago, have been in service for at least 20 years, and are about to be phased out of the arsenal of the U.S. armed forces soon, he said. As he points out, this disarmament, hence the destruction of this armament, constitutes a significant cost both for the U.S. and for its allies. They save $35 billion that way. According to Smith, decommissioning and destroying $46.6 billion worth of weapons would cost about $35 billion. And he said, by sending these antiquated and largely decommissioned weapon systems to Ukraine, the U.S. and its NATO allies are avoiding these disposal costs, argues Smith, who points out that stockpiles of these weapons are nearing their end, so they should uh, to expect some change in the policy towards uh, followed by the Allies regarding the supply of arms to Ukraine. Ukraine, the third, third largest importer in 2022. Meanwhile, according to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, SIPRI, Ukraine was the world's third largest arms importer in 2022 behind Qatar and India. According to the report, Ukraine was ranked 14th globally in terms of arms imports in the period 2018 to 2022, with the top five consisting of India, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Australia, and China. It's characteristics that from 2018 to 2022, Ukraine accounted for 2% of global arms imports. As Peter D. Wesman, SP, SIPRI's arms transfer program researcher, reports, many of the weapon systems that Western countries were reluctant to sell to Ukraine were sold to other states. In particular, it's reported that NATO and the U.S. rejected Ukraine's request for the supply of fighter jets and long-term missiles in 2022, fearing an escalation of the war, which they provided to other states in the Middle East and South Asia. This is from Banking News Greece. I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.